Hello there, young man. You Purdue? Grant Purdue. You like the place? I'm thinking. Yeah, so how are you mixed up with Marcano's organization? Friend, I own and run department stores. But with this economy, well, I've got a lot of extra inventory, clothes, electronics, you name it. An old friend, Artie Higgins, says to me, Grant, it's all insured. Let me take it off your hands. You mean you let him rob you? My trucks, yeah. It was just supposed to be a one-time deal, but heck, Artie just won't stop. I can't take the fall here. Where does Artie take the trucks? He never told me, but last time we talked, I got the impression he was going to offload them to someone else. Uh, uh, what do you call it? A uh, 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 fans? Great. If I find your stuff, it's likely going up in flames. Well, whatever you have to do to stop Artie. My gosh darn insurance has dropped me. Says I'm high risk. Can you believe that? <sighs> you bring me that truck, there's money in it for you. Artie's got some of his men working around South Downs. Thieves, all of them. I'll see what I can dig up. In the meantime, you stay out of sight. I really think you should see what Artie's guys know about my trucks. This guy's mm -hmm. cold, boy! Sandra told me to reach out. I certainly appreciate some help with the phones. Sure thing. Get this asshole off me! Hello? Hello? Line just went here. in South Downs. I'll hit your way now. We got anybody to hit this target in South Downs? You got it. We'll be around shortly. Anything you want here? Show me what you got. I'll be...
comes for cover! You don't buy it, I got 10 guys who will. What's this shitty fuck want? We got anybody to hit this target in South Downs? You got it. We'll be around shortly. He's gonna shoot somebody! Get your ass down, motherfucker! Whatever that was, it was bad. Come on, boys! I'm on fire! I don't stand a goddamn chance! Behind you! Off the street! Off the street! Yeah. <laughs> Get on down! Now! No, no, off the street! Off the street!
Chain of Terror ends right fucking here! You make the poor choices in your life! Next time, then. Use some supplies here in South now. I need a vehicle in South Downs. On that lot. Just getting there warmed up. You want something? Show me you what let you me got. know. Okay. Would you tell your wife they were TVs? You tell your wife you want to hide 50 boxes in your garage. Come tell me she doesn't have any questions. You could have said it was. Get this asshole off me! about Artie's hijacking racket. The boss says a huge hole has been planning to sell off. I know where it's gonna go down. Thanks for your help. Called me a bit ago. Spent 20 minutes chewing my behind all the pieces. Told me he wanted to meet me at um at Mama Rigetti's bakery, wherever that is. Don't worry, won't take me long to find it. Well, I'm glad you're going after him. No one raises his voice at Grant Purdue, but uh, the nerve. Word to the wise: don't get in bed with mobsters. You'll live longer. Now, I don't want to tell you how to do what you do, but if Art is at the bakery, you should do something. About it.
coming! Fuckers coming for us! Assholes trying to ask me! Take it a shot! Shit! I knew it! I knew it! I can't fucking believe it! Maybe this will help. If I'm gonna keep hold of South Downs, I'm gonna need some help. Good. Seems like you know how to keep your word. But I'm still gonna need some proof that you're not just full of shit. After I was discharged, I wandered around for a couple, three months, did some odd jobs. I got arrested once or twice for fighting. But I always kind of knew I was going into seminary. It just took a little while for it to sink in, I suppose. Once I was done with seminary, Bishop Jenkins sent me to St. Michelle's home for colored boys. That orphanage was a pile of shit from the day I got there till the day I left. <laughs> but I loved it. <laughs> I loved having those boys. Hey, Lincoln, checking the place out? Marcano had a pretty good operation going here, but we're working on putting it to shame. We know each other? Huh. You're sweet Danny Little. <laughs> you follow boxing? Some. A friend who worked for my old man was obsessed. Said you go to distance. You got that championship match coming up, right? Yeah, that's kind of why I need your help. These Marcano cats. Man, they got this dude called Two Dicks Peralta running a sports book out the Wilcox Saloon. Comes up to me while I'm sparring. Tells me I gotta go down in the fifth. Or else. What'd you say? She told him kiss my ass. Next day, somebody broke my brother's arm in three places. You all right? It's how they do. I hear two dicks even grabbed with that boy Eddie Kenner. Except I think two dicks got his eye on Eddie doing some off-book fighting for him. You hear things about nigga fights here and there. Make a lot of money if you know how those fights go in. Christ. I'll go after two dicks people, see if I can find out more about how he runs things, maybe even find Eddie. You better start talking to Peralta's people if you want to know what he's up to.
posters, movies, concerts, you name it. The hell of it's trying to keep the damn things dry. Huh? I just heard something awful. Go! And he's gonna shoot him? Hot damn! <laughs> Well, some bitch ain't breathing. You see where he went? I never But it just won't work on you. Clear out! Here we go! Get going down, boys. Damn weatherman. You don't look like police. He ain't here. Fuck him. He's looking at this boy. He's moving. <laughs> Standing up. Sports bar. The boss has been keeping some nigga fired out on ice. I can show you where. Rest in peace, asshole. This ain't a black thing, but you gotta go. Grabbing some cover! He reloading! Don't stick around! Don't tell me something, motherfucker! Fuck you! Fuck you. Sandra told me to reach out. I certainly appreciate some help with the phone. Sure thing. Fucking eyeballing him right now. Mine just went dead. But <laughs> that fucking oi. Grabbing some cover. Run. Get him run. from the other side.
Running for cover. I can't fucking move. He's killing our fucking crew. You should have said so. Some supplies here in South Downs. Be out directly. See anything you need? Show me what you got. I'll be. This is done. You know how to fight. Fold after this one. Oh, you done fucked up. Come tussle with us.
you get some guns on this target in the bayou? You got it. We'll be around shortly. out of here. Can you walk? Uh, yeah. Good. Because you need to get your ass out of here before two dicks people come looking for you. I'm already fucking gone. Hey, two dicks came by the gym. Between getting netty free and whatever else you've been doing, the man is pissed. What'd he say? Got into it with one of the fighters. Pulled his gun, waved it around. Heard him tell one of his boys to be back at Wilcox Saloon. You go on and get back to training for that fight. 
I'll deal with that asshole. Go on. That asshole two dicks is waiting for you. Got anybody to hit this target you in South? You got it. We'll be around shortly. Over there, shoot him! Get that stupid son of a we bitch! We got ourselves a gas. Send some guys to South Downs, help keep it in our hands. This tells me you know my guys can keep things in the district running. Yeah. Just remember that if you start thinking about handing it off to anybody else. and watch the game.
Tired of getting sand kicked in your face. <sighs> Gotta do calisthenics three times a week. Keep my heart rate up. You got blood on your shirt. Oh. Ah. Uh, cut myself shaving. There's something that you need to hear. Alvarez surfaced. Intercepted this call a little while ago. I don't understand a word of that. You mind translating? <laughs> Basically, you scared the shit out of Alvarez. He's ready to hightail it back to Cuba. Wants his dear uncle Zaraga to come rescue him. And what did Zaraga say? Well, he told him to meet him at the lighthouse on the southern edge of the bayou. They'd send a boat to pick him up. I'm guessing that was a lie. <laughs> Zaraga was a police officer back in Havana when Batista was still running the country. He also provided security for Sal's casinos. The two of them go way back. As soon as Zaraga hung up the phone, he called Sal and told him where he could find his nephew. Which means I need to get down there before Marcano's men. Sal's not gonna fuck around when it comes to Alvarez, so make sure your shit's squared away. Some guns on this target in the bayou? No, sir. On our way. You done war, you're welcome. Get clear!
Au revoir. Hold your fire! I'm here to help you! Come mierda! Vence todo para la pinga! You understand English? See? I killed the men outside. I only want to talk to you, so I'm going to put my gun down, all right? If you try and fuck me, I kill you! Fair enough. You are the one who wants to kill me! I wasn't trying to kill you, I was trying to find you. Your uncle, he sold you out. He ain't coming to get you. You're lying! I just spoke to him, he said he was sending a boat. Wait, you think it's a coincidence that as soon as you got here, those grease balls showed up? Zaraga called Marcano, told him where to find you. I, I must find a phone. Jesus, man, there's no one for you to call. Marcano is never gonna let you out of this city. He's gonna use you, and when he gets what he wants, he's gonna kill you. The only shot at getting out of this alive is me. What do you want from me? Tell me where Marcano's counterfeit operation is set up and we're square. Everything is uh, in a boxing ring that Tony Marcano owns, but it's already up and running. Yeah, that's all I need to know. Come on. It's time we got the hell out of here. Where are you taking me? I know someone who can get you out of the city. Make sure Marcano doesn't find you. Yeah. If you want to live through this, stick close to me. You understand? I see. As I walk along, I wonder what went wrong without I can get us. No. Can you get some? If it'll get you out of here, sure. Just keep your head down.
That was the last of them. I think. Yeah, well, keep an eye out anyway. You could have killed me. Put a bullet in my head and still fuck Marcano. You got a question in there somewhere? Yeah. Why didn't you? It just didn't sit right. Look, you didn't do anything to me. As far as I can tell, you're just another person in the long line of folks Marcano's fucked over. Sometimes it's as simple as that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Lankin. What's going on? I need your help getting this man out of the city. He's in a lot of trouble with Salman Khan. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't. Hey, this is who you told me about? Yeah, he's the one. Listen, father, I'm really counting on you here. I got nowhere else I can take him. Shit, I'm... All right. I know a Jesuit in New Mexico. He helps people in situations like this. What needs to happen right now? Marcano's gonna tear this city apart and look for him. All right, I'll make the call. Pasa, por favor. Aquí estás a salvo. Gracias. I appreciate this. <laughs> 